Propellers are a really useful type of item. This is a standard house fan blade that we designed in order to show how to design propellers for 3D printing and the things to watch out for. In this video, we're gonna go through all of those different details. So with a standard propeller, the things you're dealing with are the number of blades and then the actual pitch of the blades, this angle right here. Now, generally you're dealing with 3D printing, so you wanna make sure that this angle is always higher than 45 degrees if you possibly can, but that's really not very optimal for 3D prints. So when you have to go shallower, there's some tricks that you have to do. But before we even get to that, propellers designed like this always need to be printed with the build plate right here. This makes sure that all the layer lines are in plane so that you have a part that is reliable and rigid and won't fly apart for some reason if you ever get it up to high speed. You can then of course change all of the parameters of how the propeller is built so that you have something really reliable and does exactly what you need it to do. So this could be an HVAC fan, it could be a household fan, it could be low noise, high throughput, whatever it happens to be, you can design these air screws to do exactly what you need it to do. You can also adjust the holes however you need it to do, and 3D printing enables all of that. But as designing one of these things, like I said, you wanna deal with the support. If you ever go shallower than that, you don't really wanna use auto-generated support because it can be kind of unreliable. Instead, you wanna use this designed support. And design support is really useful because it's much more minimal and doesn't have a lot of post-processing. Each one of these just needs a simple twist in order to get knocked off because they have the spacing of traditional support, generally about 0.3 millimeters or so, but they allow you to create a really nice refined edge and not have to worry about a lot of extra waste or some sort of deformation. This also makes this really robust in production because you can have it printed on demand and never be reliant on slicer settings. When designing any sort of part, you never want to be reliant on slicer settings. But then of course you can also expand the number of blades on the propeller as well. So if you have a three blade here, you can have a five blade over here and continue to expand from that. But if you really wanna make these really robust and strong, you can go even further and put an outer ring onto it. We actually recommend this because the outer ring both serves as a form of support for really steep sort of blades. It also just gives more stability to the fan as a whole, even though it can add a little bit of weight. One benefit of 3D printing is that we don't have to print stuff solid like in the good old days. You can use these infills in order to lighten it quite a bit, but again, good design practices always help. So making this outer ring as thin as possible is pretty good because you don't need a lot of extra force out there. But that outer ring can make it a lot more reliable and serve as permanent support, basically, rather than temporary support. So if you're really trying to go for manufacturing throughput without a lot of extra post-processing, rings throughout the fan can be really useful. You can put another ring right there and so on to serve as the support while still having all of the action on the air that you want because those rings are really low profile. But fans actually have the other benefit of 3D printing, which is the fact that you just don't have to be limited by any sort of past design rules. If something like this was molded, you have limitations on the geometry in order to make sure that it can be pulled out of the mold. That is not the case for 3D printed fans. You can add extra features that can help to either control the air better or reduce noise or do all types of other sorts of features. So these little blades right here are generally for like reducing turbulence on the fan blades, which can lead to lower noise. But this is really just an example to show what it can be. You can put serrated front edges, you can do all types of other things in order to control the airflow to create a fan blade that never existed before. But really 3D printing just gives you the ability to create large numbers of variations so that you can iterate through a design and evolve it, going from some sort of traditional fan model all the way up to a much more advanced one that you can continue to iterate on because each part can be printed on demand. This video is sponsored by Teleport, so if you're making household fans or you wanna start making custom fan blades in order to upgrade certain types of items or even spare parts for people in HVAC, you can do that and not have to worry about running your own print farm. You can just create the designs, upload them to Teleport, and when somebody orders it from you, we will print it, put it in a box, and ship it off to your customer for you so that you can focus on making your products better. Have a great day, everybody.